Things are not looking any better for Colleen Ballinger. Honestly, it's insane to think it could get much worse than it already has since everything that has already come out about her has been really bad, but now it's escalated to another level. Recently, someone who worked on Colleen's Netflix series, Hairs Back Off, wrote about their experience working on the show in a post titled On Cancel Culture, Accountability, and Being in the Writer's Room with Miranda Sings. This girl had three titles working on the show. She was the writer's assistant, showrunner's assistant, and writer's PA. She said that prior to getting this job, she hadn't ever really heard of Miranda Sings, but when she looked it up, she was quite confused at the audience Colleen was trying to reach. It felt like it was for kids, but at the same time, the jokes were far from for kids, and that ended up relaying onto the show. The show was going to be Colleen playing Miranda, and in the writer's room, Colleen had thrown out ideas of Miranda and her uncle being caught in weird scenarios scenarios together that seemed very inappropriate as her audience was primarily kids. She then points out some of the remarks that Colleen had made in regards to certain things and this has now gone around online and people are just shocked to know that there's more to the list of things that Colleen has done and said in poor taste. April wrote, another one of my responsibilities was to sit in on production meetings, all virtual as the writer's room was in LA and filming was to take place in Vancouver and take notes. It was in those meetings that I had to document Colleen's insistence that we used limited people of color background actors as the show took place in Washington and having them just randomly there would be distracting. I took note as Colleen was shown an Asian food market that would be redressed as a bodega for the show and watched her disgust as she demanded assurance that all the Asian would be removed before filming. I sat patiently as the powers that be expressed concerned that the entire main cast for the show was white and silently prayed that since someone with some actual say had spoken up, things might change. And I took note yet again as Colleen assured them that they had only cast the best person for each role and that it wasn't her fault that all of those people ended up being white. April also included text messages that she had sent to a friend at the time when she was venting about Colleen. She texted, we're re-watching auditions from earlier this morning, watching the tape of this black actor who is the fine by the way. But anyway, the lighting wasn't great and Colleen just shouted out loud, where is he? Implying he's so dark skinned, he disappeared. You can totally see him. It was just overcast this morning. Black is beautiful. Get me the F out of here. And much like how her fans have spoken out about how Colleen would open up about her personal life to them, and much how Shane Dawson detailed Colleen loved to smack talk and gossip, it seems like she was very much the same when it came to days on set because April wrote about her experience interacting with Colleen and it's quite jaw dropping. Content of the show aside, it was difficult to work for Colleen. She had a knack for making funny, biting comments about the people around her. And since we all had her to think for our jobs, we were forced to just go with it. She saw no issues with commenting on my hair or my clothes or asking about my personal life. Her lack of boundaries was remarkable. Most days, the first hour or so of work was dedicated to Colleen forcing us all to perform the emotional labor of counseling her through her marital concerns, being a listening ear to her complaints about fans. They were being so sensitive lately, aka they had spoken up about their discomfort with her using a black scent, and getting the latest updates on the antics of her fellow YouTubers. I recall overhearing her once brag that a creator was being canceled for saying the n-word and if you think she went with n-word instead of hitting that hard r then you haven't been paying attention and that she would never be stupid enough to get caught doing something like that and i've been seeing a lot of people writing online saying why just now come out and speak about this and i think april wrote something that kind of explains this she said let me be the millionth person to say it cancel culture is not real the majority of people i know who work in this industry have spent years of their lives waiting hoping that an article will finally drop naming the sins of the abuser they endured and finishing them for good and each one has had to stand by and watch as that person is dragged on Twitter for days, removed from a project or two, and is back on their feet in time for the next year's Emmys. There is no witch hunt, no toxic gossip train, no dangerous mob hell bent on destroying the life of an innocent person just for something to do. The truth is, there are real people who have had real experiences that have affected them a great deal, and there are narcissists who choose to cover their ears and look the other way.
And I think the reason why so many people are coming out now with things is because people are actually listening right now. When Adam first came out to talk about Colleen, as he talked about recently, he was met with so much hate and her fans attacking him, calling him a liar, all of that. But now that people are open to the conversation, they're listening, more people aren't afraid to hide their stories in fear that they will be attacked for sharing them. And I think that's why there is so much that is coming out because Colleen is so big and she did have such a strong fan base. And before all of this, if anyone said anything negative, they would surely be shut down and shamed. And I think she really made it worse when she did her apology song because I think those who have been hurt by her feel like they were basically just being laughed at by her because it was a song. Had she had sat there and spoke the things that she sang, I don't think it would have gone absolutely as bad and viral, but the video having been a song just like really ruined a lot more for her. April ended up closing her blog by saying, I don't know what's next for Miranda Sings, but one thing I do know is that Adam and Becky and Johnny and everyone else who has spoken out are all owed at the very least a thoughtful, sincere apology. One that acknowledges the very real pain they are clearly in, gives them the respect they deserve and is 100% ukulele free. And while she is at it, I would love $250 back for the hour I just spent having to explain all of this to my therapist. Ugh. Now, on top of this, there is now a video that has come out of Colleen. And I mean, it's just like whenever you think like it can't get any worse, like it shockingly does get worse because I think just like everything, it's like, oh, and this and this and this. But this is just like, what? What the heck? So basically in Colleen's book, she has two books and in one of them you can scan qr codes throughout the book and see certain performances and one of the performances is colleen with paint on her face singing single ladies by beyonce the video looks old it's really grainy footage and a lot of people were taking offense to this just because it looked like the paint was black I have been on Twitter like all day seeing this stuff go down and somebody tweeted out that they were DM'd saying that she actually has green paint on her face because earlier in the show that she was doing, she was doing Wicked and so her face is green. I just wanted to throw this out there because there's a lot of stuff being said about Colleen and this particular video clip. Apparently it is green paint on her face. I don't know why she didn't wipe it off in between you know whatever this was versus what she was doing before because it doesn't look the best um but i wanted to bring this up because this is something that is getting talked about right now so in case you guys have seen the allegations of her with black paint on her face apparently it is green but still i mean there's just so much that's coming out about her and it's crazy and i just don't even know what she could even do at this rate literally everything that she's done has just been so bad that i mean people believe that she would do that she would have black paint on her face and dance around as beyonce and honestly i don't even know how that video was put onto her channel and like they put it in the book and everyone was just like yeah everyone's just gonna like get it that it was like wicked but i just i don't know you guys i mean i know we've all seen it before where people get canceled and they come back i mean i didn't think that shane dawson was ever going to come back but he is and he's making content and he's selling merch and he's becoming this little family vlog channel with rylan but shane didn't betray his fans i will say that you know i know that shane has done some really messed up stuff and the public really did not like him but he never like talked bad about his fans so at the end of the day like there were still people that supported him and i'm sure there's still people that are hanging on to colleen because they maybe are they're too young to even realize like any of the stuff that's going on but there are so many fans of Colleen's that are so hurt because they found out that she's talked bad about her fans. They've seen receipts of her talking bad about them personally. And that is the part that I'm like, I don't know if she could, you know, really come back because if you betray your fans like that, you're, that is, I don't know. That's, this whole thing is just crazy. It's truly crazy because I just feel like a month ago, everyone was like, Colleen, like, like no one, no one cared. And now it's like every, everything you could imagine is coming out about her. I really wonder if she'll come out and say something more, but I guess we'll have to see if she does anything more 
than her little song. But as of right now, that is what is going on. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>